This video presents how to georeference a raw image using Eras Imagine AutoSync. The conventional manual method of geocorrecting images has proved to be tedious, time consuming and error prone as it involves collecting points manually and editing them until the required solution is reached. Eras Imagine offers a tool called AutoSync which is a remedy to the tedious and time consuming manual method of geocorrecting images. AutoSync allows automated image-to-image -image registration and edge matching. Some of the advantages of AutoSync are automated generation of large number of tie points. The tie points generated can be filtered based on the amount of error they are causing to actual solution. This in turn improves the quality of the output image, provides a proficient environment for measuring tie points, refining the solution and facilitates to preview the output before generating it. It allows to perform an iterative model refinement quickly and easily which aids instantaneous rectification of results in workstation environment. Now, our subject matter expert, Stephen Howe, will walk us through the workflow on how to georeference a raw image using Eras Imagine AutoSync. First, launch AutoSync from Imagine. Since we are going to create a new project, simply hit OK here. Give the project a name, AS Test. Change the output type to Resample, and then hit OK. Next, we need to add the input image to the project. For input image, we are going to use a Landsat TM data called TM Atlanta. For the reference image, we are going to use a Pan Atlanta. Now, we can look at their image info. For input image, this is a 512 by 512 raw image. It doesn't have any mapping information. For the reference image, it's 1400 by 1300. Its projection is state plane. Since the input image here is a raw image, before we can run APM to generate the tie points, we have to create manually at least two tie points to establish the initial spatial correlation between the input image and the reference image. Let's create our first tie points on the upper left corner of the image. Typically, it's a good idea to pick a road intersection as a tie point. You create a tie points in the magnifier window. Now move to the right side of the image. And this time, we are going to use the center of the stadium as our next tie point. Now we can run APM to generate the tie points. Totally, there are 12 tie points. Two of them are manually created. Before we continue, I'd like to show you a very important dialog. Project's properties. The first tab is APM strategy. Those are the default settings. The reason APM didn't generate that many tie points here is that the input image is very small. If you remember, it's 512 by 512. So we need to change the default setting in order to create more tie points. Reduce the size by half. 128, change it to 64. 128, 64. Column increment, change it to 128. Line increment, change it to 128 also. And now, let's run APM again. This time, it finds many more tie points. Totally 80 tie points. One important number here is RMSE, which can be found on the status bar, which is at the bottom of the workstation. RMSE stands for root mean square error. 
It is used to measure the quality of the geometry model and the tie points. The smaller the RMSE, the more accurate the model, and the better the quality of a total tie point set. RMSE is expressed in pixels of the input image. In our case, it's 0 0.18. So we can say that our model is subpixel accurate. You might ask, can we do something to make RMSE even smaller? The answer is, it's quite likely. Before we do anything, we need to find what the current model is. So open project properties dialog, go to geometry models tab, the current model is affine, and it has one parameter, RMS threshold, 0.5. Since we have so many tie points, we can change the geometry model to polynomial. And maximum order is 3, RMS threshold is 0.5. That's OK. We hit OK. And now we need to solve the model. Just click this button or go to process, solve model. Now RMSE is not changed, still 0 0.18. Let's go back to project's property dialog and examine the geometry model's parameters. Two parameters here. The first one is the maximum polynomial order. The second one is RMS threshold. RMS here is the same as RMSE on the status bar. When solving a polynomial model, it starts with order 1, which is the same as affine. Then it computes RMSE. Only if RMSE is bigger than the threshold, it continues to solve polynomial model with order 2. We already know that RMSE in affine model is 0 0.18. So when RMS threshold is 0 0.5, the model solving process stops at order 1. Therefore, the resulting model is actually an affine model. That explains why RMSE is not changed. To say if a polynomial model with higher order helps to reduce RMSE, we need to give RMSE threshold a smaller number. 0.1. Now solve the model. Now RMSE is reduced to 0.16. Another way to reduce RMSE is to remove poor quality tie points. Let's sort the tie points by their errors with big ones on top. Interestingly, to manually create the tie points are ranked first and third. This shows that the majority tie points generated by APM have a better quality. Now let's select all tie points whose error is bigger than 0 0.2. Delete those tie points. Resolve model. Now RMSE is reduced to 0 0.11. You can continue this process until you are satisfied with the results. Finally, let's create the resampled output file. It's done. Now the output file and the reference image are displayed in the same view. We can do some quality check. Room in. Scroll to areas where there are roads and use the swiping tool to swipe the image. We did the perfect job. Roads matched, stadium matched. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching.